one of San Francisco's great historic neighborhoods, the Bayview. And joining me as our guide today is the president of the Bayview Merchants Association, Al Williams. Thank you very much, Keith, and welcome to Bayview Hunters Point. Really excited to be here today to have an opportunity to showcase some of Bayview's hidden treasures. Bayview is in a unique neighborhood in a lot of respects, particularly as it relates to uh, uh, the Council of District Merchants. Uh, unlike most neighborhoods, uh, our area covers not only the Third Street Corridor, which is the commercial corridor of Bayview, but all of 94124, which includes a significant part of the city's, if not most of the city's, production, distribution, and repair entities. So we represent a broader cross-section of interest, and we're going to try to show you several things that represent uh, the various aspects. Hi. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Nate Watson, Executive Director of Public Glass in San Francisco. Uh, we've been here since 1997, so almost 25 years here in the same spot, right on Armstrong Avenue in Bayview. You guys want to check out the process? Absolutely. Take a look. Let's take a walk. Yeah. Check it out. What we do as artists here at Public Glass is um, we do everything together. So um, in, in our artwork, there's a lot of training that happens and we're only able to do work that is as complicated and elevated as our partners around us. So we have this mode of working that is the, you know, the tide lifts all boats, right, right. right? So it's built into the culture of how we make and what we do. And uh, we export that culture through uh, collaboration with other businesses. Mm -hmm. So like this shirt was designed next door. Okay. You know, we go to lunch at Cafe Envy around the corner. Our, our equipment is fabricated and welded by the metal shop that's two doors down. But we also use all of the programming, all the lunches that we go to, all the different times that we go out into the community. We use those experiences to bring people back and to understand who's doing what. Right. And then as artists, as curators, we try to put together really nice combinations of businesses so that people really understand what's going on here. We also work with youth. Mm -hmm. So when we have a public project, when we get commissioned to do something out in the neighborhood, we always connect with the local schools. We let them know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. We talk to all the teachers, right? We give an opportunity to develop new programming around what they do as educators and what we do as artists. And we, we allow a pathway for youth to participate in the creative process. So I think amplifying those messages, letting people know that we're here and that we provide a unique service and a unique product um, that you really can't get anywhere else in the neighborhood. Yeah. Or actually in the whole city. In the city. Right? This is the only glass blowing studio that's available to the public in the city of San Francisco. Southland. Right? And we're right here in Bayview. That's, and, that's uh, amazing. Yeah, just letting people know, really. You said it's a tremendous resource. Yeah. And, uh, it is a treasure that we want to expose to the city and all visitors who come to San Francisco. Absolutely. Because uh, it, is, it is truly unique. Yeah, so we don't want to be a secret. Absolutely. Well, yeah. thank you very much for yeah. taking the time to spend with us and thank share you. this information. We look forward to building our relationship through the Merchants Association yeah. with Public Glass and uh, giving you that exposure that you're looking for. Great. Al, thank you so much. Thank I really you, appreciate mate. you. Thank you all your work. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Welcome back. We're here uh, at the African Outlet with owner uh, Horgan Edet. Uh, Horgan is going to show us around the shop. Horgan's uh, been in business here for a number of years in the city for 32 years. 32 years. Uh, originally in another location, but has been here in the Bayview Hunters Point and is another one of the treasures of Bayview Hunters Point. Horgan, why don't you show us around uh, your shop? Okay, Horgan. come on in. Okay, Horgan, wonderful shop you have here. Another one of Bayview's real treasures. Tell us about uh, African Outlet, how you got started, your background, where are you from, your native country? Uh, originally, I'm from Nigeria. Um, why I got into this business is because when I was growing up, I was interested in dealing with masks, drumming, dancing, so I could get a piece of wood, I can carve a mask. So this got me in, interested in opening up an African shop. Um, I'm into cultural events like mark, marking, drumming, dancing, um, other stuff you know, of African cultural uh, um, undertakings. So it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful place, you know. My people like the ambience, you know. You can smell my incense, 
two blood down the street. So I mean, the flow is full of this. I mean, it's a great, great place, you know. We love it here. I know as you pass by, walk down the street, you get the incense flavor. Exactly, exactly. Out, out yeah, on the street. Exactly, yeah. And yeah. Uh, you don't get trouble from it, your neighbors, the firefighters who are next door. Oh, no, door. they love No, no, they love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they love it. They love it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a beautiful people. I mean, I, them, even I like the crew because the guys, you know, they're so nice to us. Sometimes whenever they have an event, you know, say, come, you come get some food, you know, come in. I so, see. I mean, they're good people, they're lovely people. I love being here. Eveline Derrick and we're here at the Bach shop. Uh, the murals that you see are a new addition to the Bach shop. It was a collaboration with SoMarts to bring attention to our industrial art space. The murals are created by Bay Area artists and it's one of the greatest collections of art by Bay Area artists that exists right now. Well, uh, we're here at uh, Speakeasy. Another one of Bayview Hunters Point's real gems, hidden treasures with John, uh, who's the manager here. John, thank you for having us in. Can you tell us a little bit about Speakeasy and uh, your programs here? So yeah, uh, Speakeasy, a few years back, got purchased by uh, Seth Butner, so under the brand Hunters Point Brewery. So not only do we uh, produce Speakeasy brand beers, but we also produce uh, beers under the Hunters Point Brewery brand. Uh, so both of those beers are coming fresh directly from our facility here. Uh, we run the, the largest, by tank size anyway, largest uh, independently owned brewery in the, in the whole entire city. So that's a, it's pretty special for us. Mm. And uh, yeah, since the new ownership took over four years back, we're the only black owned brewery in the city. Uh, so, you know, it's been only six months for me back here managing this spot, but it's been a great time. So uh, every weekend we host a variety of different pop-ups, uh, most of which are uh, very communal and, and very locally based here in the Bayview. Uh, it definitely brings the, uh, the our neighborhood out, people that can pretty much see their homes from from where they're sitting and drinking a beer and people that are running into neighbors and high school friends and college friends and colleagues that they haven't seen in a long time because of the pandemic are able to run into each other here. It's, it's definitely become a really fun communal kind of gathering place for, for people all over San Francisco and all over the Bay. Uh, it's definitely grown to have a reputation <laughs> on the weekends to be a, a really fun place for the community. Uh, thanks for coming out and, and visiting with us, and happy to be able to show you some of the unique features of Baby. One of the things that I thought was uh, you pick up in the thread of the conversations that those businesses we featured cover a variety of, of, of spaces in the area, but they all talked about their engagement with the community and how they work with kids and training programs and the like. So our focus in Bayview as a business association, merchants association, is being a part of the community, integral part of the community. And we, we enjoy that, and that's a major part of our activity and function and the businesses that we work with. Al, I really enjoyed discovering the Bayview. I really did. Folks, you better get out there and visit our sunniest corner of San Francisco. There's something to behold.